Push it tight to the bottom, ready? As soon as it goes down, there you go, look. Straight in, straight in. We're just making our way down to a rock mark. I've brought my trusty girlfriend with me. <laughs> She's not too happy about this climb, but a man's got to do what a man's got to do to get to a spot. This is crazy. Let's see if we can pick up a fish. Here we go. So my girlfriend really wanted to see a seal and I've just climbed all the way down onto this mad, mad rock and there's a bloody seal sitting down here. It is massive, but it's just dived in. Couldn't believe it. Let's see if I can get it. I can get it on the camera. That's right where the seal was. Hopefully that ain't the seal. <laughs> but that is where it was. There's the seal. Can you see him? Look. <laughs> Hello mate. <laughs> That's so funny. So yeah, so we've come to this rock mark. It was about an hour to walk here and uh, climbed down loads of rocks and it was massive. I've never seen anything like it. I don't want to say the lo location because a lot of people have spoke to me about this and I'm not from here so I don't want to be given out locations. Although I didn't even catch anything so it don't really matter. But it's a sick location. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's really deep water. It's, it's really rocky all around here. It's just a nightmare to get to. But unfortunately for me, there's loads of seals there. So they're probably scaring off all the fish. But um, yeah, it's a lovely day. And uh, hopefully I'll get some fish next time. Trying to find somewhere to fish. I found a few spots, but like this is what I've come across every single bit. Look, looks so nice, but you can't get down to the bloody water. It's so steep. It's just all cliffs. The water is insane. It is so clear. And I've found a few spots. I haven't really fished that much yet. But this is my time to fish. And I can't bloody find anywhere. Where I am at the moment anyway. Look at this. Oh my god. It's a bit risky going around that. Well, I found somewhere, finally. But this is what I mean by trek. Look at that, to get down here. I don't even know if you can see that, but that is a climb. Bloody hell. But I'm here and the rocks are dry. So let's see. Is there any fish? So basically, I've just found this little rock mark. 
as you know, I'm in Wales, I'm at North Wales at the moment, and I'm spending the weekend here. I've taken the van, and uh, we're just doing like a little touring session. But every single place that I seem to find seems to be really high up like a cliff and I can't get down to the water. I've literally just had to climb all the way down this rock face to get to this mark. So hopefully there's a fish. Um, I had a little go earlier but not for that long and there was bloody seals everywhere. Couldn't believe it. I thought what the hell is that? It looked like a dog. <laughs> And then suddenly I realised, it's a bloody seal. Tide's ebbing off now. So, we'll see. See if we can pick up something. I'm hoping for like a nice pollock or cold fish, something like that. A bass would obviously would be lovely, but we catch a bass in Brighton. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me, but in this little bay, what will be happening is all the bait fish and food will be getting struck up into this corner. Over here. It will be all caught in here, so this is hopefully where the fish are going to be. Because the bass will be pushing these fish into this corner. Yes, there we go. I reckon this is a pollock. Yes. There we go. There we go. Lovely little pollock. Look at that. Lovely little pollock. It's getting back. Been trying for a while now. Well, no, I've only been here 10 minutes, but this is my third spot and I haven't had anything. And here, they're hitting it good. So yeah, happy days. Let's try and get some more. Yeah, in again. Yes! Come on, this one feels a little bit better. The next cast. What a beaut try and get all this line that's a bit better lovely that smashed the actually a mighty minnow as you can see so yeah lovely fish that absolutely lovely he's actually one I could have for dinner you know but I'm gonna put this one back because he's, he's nice, lovely, well happy with that. See, I'm just fishing these tight to the bottom. It's just actually a mighty minnow, they're getting smashed. Hopefully get another. There 
go. This is a smaller one. But it just shows they're there. Tiny little one. Getting back. They're hitting it in exactly the same place every single time. I'll probably tell you when they're. There you go! Yeah. Come off! Oh no! What is going on here? Is he swimming towards me? Hey, right, come off! Fish it tight to the bottom, ready? As soon as it goes down, there you go, look. Straight in, straight in. That's a better one. See these pollock, they, they give it all the big one when they hit the lure and then they just calm down. Oh. You can tell the difference between it and the bass. Nice, snag me. I'm trying to be so careful with this new reel. Look at that. That's probably the biggest one yet. It absolutely smashes. This one snagged me in a hole. And I just let it go like loose, slack, to see if it'd come out and he'd come out. So yeah, look at that. They pop the lure out quite easy. Back he goes. Should we try again? I've lost count how many, that must have been my four. Ready, three, two, one. Yes, there we go, boy! So funny, ah. Oh. Bat it. Little bastard. So funny, there's no one else around. Yes, back in. Whoa! Whoa! That was a bigger fish. That didn't feel like a pollock, that felt like a bass. What they do is there's a little ledge here, right? And it must drop to about 30 foot. And as soon as they get close to the ledge where I'm about to pull them out, they dive. Every single one's done it. And that one is diving.
There we go. This one's got marks on it. I don't know if you can see that. He's been in the wars. Straight out. Back, there you go. Last chuck for this one, I'm going to try a different colour or a different size. So this thing is either the 56 or 42 gram. I think it's the 56. So this will show you the difference between that little 28 and this big one. You need to be a bit careful with this one. So, I'm getting bites, but they're not hooking up. Again, because it's bigger. So that's the difference. This one, gets snagged. <laughs> right, back to this little 28 gram. This one's the khaki colour, not the blue one. So we'll see if this does the same damage. This is ridiculous. It's literally fish every cast. Why can't it be like this in Brighton? Look at that. Absolutely mental. To be honest, I've only ever caught, caught a couple of pollock, because down our area, it's all bass. It's not really much pollock. Look at it. Yeah. Lovely. Well, that was a good little session. That whole time I was filming was the whole time I was fishing. There was no longer. So what, I don't know, half hour? 45 minutes max? Seven 
Pollock. A couple decent ones as well. So yeah, I've been to three marks and that's the mark that looked the best and it produced the fish. So happy days. Do the business. Especially those Axia Mighty Minnows. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, take it easy.